So in lung cancer, in, in stage four lung cancer, we're now at the position where we have a number of first line immunotherapy containing regimens, including immunotherapy, monotherapy, chemo with immunotherapy, dual immune checkpoint blockade, and others. And this gives us a wealth of treatment options, but there's very little head-to-head -head data between any of these immunotherapy regimens, as most of these trials use chemotherapy as the control arm. And so the result is that in clinic, we often have to extrapolate from these trials and the inclusion criteria to say, we think for this patient, this regimen is the best, and this patient, we should, we should use monotherapy and others. So in that study, we took a retrospective cohort and simply asked, does chemo immunotherapy do better? What are the patients who benefit from the combination versus what are the patients where we can start with immunotherapy monotherapy? And we thought this was particularly interesting because a lot of people have claimed that there's synergy between chemo and immune checkpoint inhibitors. And what we found is that chemotherapy therapy can help in the beginning, particularly for high-risk patients who might progress early. So it does look like it helps mitigate the risk for early progression, but there really doesn't look to be any long-term synergy between chemo and immunotherapy. And so that means for patients who have relatively low disease burden, um, have higher pdl ones it's pretty reasonable to start with immune checkpoint inhibitor monotherapy and add chemotherapy if you're concerned that they're progressing. And we did look to see whether what are the risk factors for early progression? And we found PDL1 was, of course, uh, associated. Um, higher disease burden, so stage 4B versus 4A disease, a trend towards liver metastases, never smoking status. Um, and so those are really the, the clinical phenotype of the patients where I might hedge and give the combination therapy together. We also looked at genomic features and whether any of these associate differentially and found that CDK and 2A mutations actually seem to associate associate with worse outcomes in the combination chemo immunotherapy arm. Don't think we understand yet why that's the case, but it's certainly an interesting signal that we can hopefully validate in further studies.